having a wonderful day. So today is the beginning of my celebrations for my 30th birthday. So you're watching this obviously a couple of days later, but currently right now it's Tuesday the 16th and basically tomorrow is my birthday, the 17th of April. I'm gonna be 30 and I feel like 30 is like quite a big like milestone. Okay, so I'm just seeing if that's Mickey or not because we're running a bit late. So basically for my birthday, Mickey did have like a really cool like birthday surprise for me. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do it because the weather's not right. You need like the weather to do what I had planned. And I just said, don't worry about it. Do you know what we can do? Let's go to Birmingham, go out for a really nice meal and then stay over in a hotel. And then the next day, can you take me to like the big massive Primark in Birmingham apparently is the biggest in the world and I was like then I can like record like blah, blah, blah. then I can like vlog it and then also I can do probably like the biggest Primark call ever on YouTube because you so know I'm gonna go a little bit mad in that store but yeah I'm gonna obviously vlog it I'm not gonna vlog much of today basically because um <sighs> Mario, he's trumped and it stinks. Uh, Mickey's son's actually coming down from London on a coach to come and look after the pugs for us. But unfortunately, his coach is running late. So we were meant to be leaving like an hour ago, but we're now leaving a little bit late because from where we live, it's going to take about three hours to get to Birmingham or more, depending on traffic. And then me and Mickey, we're going to go out for drinks, like pre-drinks, and then we're going to go out for a really nice meal, then go have a few more drinks. And then I think we were going to go to like a casino or something, something like a little bit different. You never know, tomorrow, when I start tomorrow's bit of the vlog, my actual birthday, I might be a millionaire, you never know. No, I literally, I don't even know, like, the, the poker and things like that, I just don't know how to play it, so I'll probably be, like, watching Mickey and stuff, but, yeah, anyway, it's gonna be really fun. Yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow, I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, the time we get to Birmingham, like, the time I then get ready, Mickey was like, it's gonna be really late, so he was like, can you do your hair and your makeup before you go? So, I've done my hair, obviously, when I get to the hotel, I'll probably re, like, straighten bits, Um, this is my makeup i feel like it came out pretty well the only thing is this eyebrow went a bit dodge and then the only thing is like i feel like when you pretty much do your makeup just before you're about to leave because if you sit around for hours it just creases there and it started to crease there which is really annoying because there's no way you can like fix that without like separating all your makeup and yeah it's really annoying but what do you think of my eyeshadow i use a bit of like Revolution Pro and then I think I used a bit of Too Faced Peaches um, palette and then I I basically used this random palette that I got that I absolutely love but yeah this is like the look I'm trying to work on my blending skills I feel like I've blended it a little bit too much but where we go I think it looks alright but yeah anyway when we get to the hotel and I try on my dress I'll show you what I look like and then I'll probably cut the vlog there and then it'll go on to day two. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute when I'm all in my birthday outfit. Okay, so me and Mickey finally arrived in the hotel, literally. We arrived so late because the traffic was so bad. But this hotel room was like insane. It's even nicer than the hotels I've stayed in when we've been like on holiday. So I'll show you, I'll give you like a little tour. This video is definitely going to be part one and part two now. But as you come in, there's like these really nice mirrors. I would love them in my bedroom. And then all the furniture is like really like glitter and glam. And then the bathroom I'll show you last because I feel like that's the best bit of this whole room. Where we've got like a little seating area, and this big like puffy thing, we've got a really nice TV, a little desk so I can do my makeup or whatever, and then over here we've got like a mini bar, Don't you, didn't he say we've got like wine and stuff in yeah, here? Complimentary wine and... Oh when they say complimentary wine they do mean like a miniature bottle, <laughs> and we've got, oh my goodness Mickey, there is luxurious irish chocolates which you wouldn't like because they're irish oh no they're not they're orange chocolate ganache you'll like them we've got water there's some drinks obviously you've got all coffee and everything this is well posh and then the bedroom oh i can't wait to get into bed tonight we've only arrived and i can't wait to get into bed the bed looks so comfy and then yeah we've got a really nice tv I'm going to be able to take so many nice Instagram videos in here, but, but yeah, look, it's so beautiful in here. 
But Mickey, you've done well. Usually Mickey always try and book us away in nice hotels, but they end up being like, oh, yeah. I think we need to turn this way so they can sit back. The hotel rooms end up really being scabby, like nothing. No, this is nice. Yeah, they... It's Harriet's birthday, so we're, we're in a nice hotel. Uh, even though the view isn't that great, but we're not going to... Selfridges, because Selfridges is Yeah, good. well, we're not going to be in the, the hotel room, obviously, so we haven't got a good view there, but that spacey looking building over there is Miss Selfridges and I don't know if you can see that but that is the big Primark so we're literally walking distance from the Primark which is good because I'm gonna have a few bags I feel but now it's time to go into the bathroom the best bit of this hotel honestly I, I, I'm literally gonna have a bath tomorrow just because it's insane so yeah this is the bathroom there's like a massive shower, which is really nice. But the best bit is, look at this bath. Like, look how deep that is. But then look, <gasps> Ta -da! there's actual TV in the bathroom. It's really nice. Everything's really nice and clean. This is probably one of the best hotels I've definitely ever stayed in. But yeah, thank you, Mickey. This is so nice. But we're now going to... Get ready, I'm gonna top up my makeup a little bit because obviously we're in the car for ages, so half of my makeup's probably sweated off. And then I'll get my dress on and I'll get Mickey to show you my outfit. And then we're gonna go and head to where are we going? Don't know. M just Mickey's for too a busy. Bar. We're gonna go to a couple of bars first, or like one bar, and then where are we going for food? Gauchos. Yeah. Obviously a lot of you guys probably like that's known for steaks, but they do do some like vegetarian like fish dishes. But um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna now get ready and then go out. But I'll see you probably when we get back and I'll tell you how the night went. Okay guys, so it's officially my birthday today. I'm officially 30 years old. Oh, no, maybe. But um, yeah, basically, the age gap doesn't seem as bad now, does it? Because yeah. you can say I'm 30 rather than like 20 something. When you say 20, you still feel like a teenager, I feel like. But um, yeah, loads of people saying, do I feel any different? No, I don't think I do. I feel like I've hit a milestone in my life. But yeah, I don't feel any different. But I've always kind of been like a bit of a granny, I think. I love getting, I love just getting home, snuggling up with the pugs and Mickey, watching films. I'm not really like a party gal. We do like to go out for cocktails and stuff, which we done last night. Which I'm really sorry. I think I, I don't know if I remembered if I vlogged my outfit, but if I did, you would have seen it just a minute ago. And I also forgot to do my intro for this morning. So me and Mickey are actually on our way home. Yeah, me and Mickey have just now been to the biggest Primark in the world. And Mickey treated me to a few things out of there, didn't you? For summer. Then I got some extra things that I probably won't be keeping. But I bought them anyway because I feel like the Primarks, like the smaller Primarks and that, wouldn't have these items. And I just thought it would be nice to show you and show you how you can make them into outfits and stuff. So I'll be doing a massive Primark haul soon. But for now, here's some little like montages. It's, I don't know if I said that right. It sounds really weird when I said montages. Oh, montages, is it? Yeah, montages, I don't know. Mini clips of me going around Primark just showing you, um, you know, what the Primark looked like. So we finally made it to Primark. It's well busy. It's really sunny outside, so I'm sorry if you can't see me properly. But um, yeah, we're now gonna be heading into Primark. It looks absolutely amazing. Luckily I've got Mickey, so uh, he can help me carry all my bags. And yeah, we're really excited. Well, I definitely am excited. I don't know about you. You're probably not oh, as excited I'm, as I'm me. I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, let's go inside Primark.
Okay, so now you've seen the montage, has it made you feel like you want to go in there? I know like my shots aren't that good, but as you can see, it was pretty packed in there. And every time I got my camera out, you pretty much could only see like bundles of people. But you got to see like a few things they had in there. But I didn't actually get to see the Disney calf, because there was a Disney calf in there. Yeah, yeah I saw you, that, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't see that. I was probably too busy looking at clothes and stuff. Is it any different? to the Primarchs that I've been in because the one in Norwich is just a standard Primark even though they are making it like a big one so we are going to have like all the like um, specialist kind of items that not every Primark has I think it's going to be more like a London store but yeah I feel like it just was bigger what do you think Mickey? Compared yeah, it was massive and it was busy yeah. It was packed. Like the queues were really long, but they went really quick. Like quicker than the ones like in our Primark in Norwich. Yeah, I was surprised how quickly it went through. Yeah, but um, yeah, to be honest, they did have certain things in there I feel like we wouldn't have in the smaller Primark stores, which is the items that I picked up. The beauty section, I thought we'd have loads of things that we don't have in the Norwich one and to be honest they had exactly the same but just duplicates of everything but then they did have this makeup stand which I don't know if I vlogged or not but they had uh, Lottie London in there and some other kind of beauty stand of makeup that I haven't seen before and uh, they did have another like little section of like skincare stuff that I haven't seen in our Primark but it wasn't anything like special if that makes sense. But yeah, I don't think it was anything different apart from they have a barber's salon in there, which I don't think I vlogged. Then they had like a hairdressers and a nail salon thing, which I didn't get to vlog because it was like in a separate bit and you had to go up and go in there and it was just so busy. But yeah, I would, if you love Primark and you just want to have the experience saying you went to the biggest Primark in the world, I'd say go give it a go. Definitely stay in the Clinton, is it Clinton Hotel we stayed in? Clayton. Clayton Hotel. Because um, that was really, really nice as you saw earlier. We just, I feel so sick. We went to, what was that place we went to? That food place, Andy's was that? Archie's. Archie's. And I had, which if you follow me on Instagram then you would have seen some pictures. But if you don't, here's my Instagram hair. Um, yeah, I had, because I've been wanting waffles for ages. And to be honest, the f last time I had a waffle, because they're my favourite, was actually on my... 25th birthday I had like a waffle breakfast with my friend Daisy so yeah I had a shortbread waffle with caramel like salted caramel sauce and fudge on it and loads of ice cream and you had like a, a honeycomb one oh it looked so good and then I also got like this banana for Ferrero Rocher milkshake thing with loads of cream on ah oh, but yeah there's loads of pictures on my Instagram of my birthday but yeah, we're now on our way home and I, I'm actually really tired and I still feel sick after all that food. But I'll be doing a Primark haul and then I'll probably do like a haul of some birthday gifts that I got from a couple of my friends and Mickey and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff I got today. So yeah, um, I don't think there's much more to say really apart from I will see you in the next video which will be on my main channel which is on Wednesday. And yeah, I love you guys and thanks for all my birthday messages and all my birthday edits on Instagram. They were so lovely and cute. Um, yeah, I love you guys.